with the very basics. For people who don't know. Alright, so Battlescribe, by the way, is a free piece of software that allows you to create and craft lists for Warhammer 40k. So right right off the gate, it's already better than than whatever whatever <laughs> Games Workshop has, has done out there, but um, this is a free piece of software. This is uh, this is very helpful. This is how you're going to be crafting your lists. Um, it's probably a good idea to have a basic understanding of how lists work, but uh, yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here, uh, Battlescribe.net. I'm going to link you guys in the chat. Okay, Battlescribe.net, and you're going to download and you're going to install this, right? And so what what happens is that uh, once you're done installing, you'll have Battlescribe. All right? Now you want Battlescribe Roster Editor. It's going to install a few little models in there, modules. You want the Roster Editor, okay? Now, we're not just ready yet, okay? We're going to come over here to this hamburger icon. It says Manage Data, right? You're going to need to come in here. This is going to be blank for you when you first start this. All right. What you want to do is you want to hit add data. Okay. And this will have a list of all the available repositories. So really quick, Battlescribe is not right out the gates like, you know, make any list thing. Right. What it is is a, it's, it's software to help people create a roster editor like thing so even though Battlescribe allows you to do this it, it's not actually Battlescribe that makes these uh, the data for all this right so what we're doing here is we're grabbing a community's repo right so we would scroll down and they, there's a lot of games here we would scroll down to the W's and then we would go to Warhammer 40,000 version 9.0 at the current time that this is right now on you're gonna hit done and it says do you want to it's gonna ask you if you want to update it or whatever you would hit yes um, it's gonna also prompt you to delete existing data you know I'll just put yes for whatever um, it's gonna go ahead it's gonna grab the data from the repository This is all the information for the units, the factions, the types of things. It's, it's good. You're going to have all this by the end of that. Data files have been successfully updated. Okay, hit OK, hit Done. All right. Now we're going to go into create a new roster. Okay. So this is going to bring up this, this uh, window. All right. It's going to ask you what game system you're trying to make this list for. Obviously, Warhammer, 9th edition, okay? Here, it prompts you for a name of the list, and we're going to go ahead and we'll put test. Okay? And notes is optional. Uh, cost limits, that's optional. Maybe you want to place, I don't know, 2,000 points. Just so that it's, you know, it's up there in the level, okay? Or up there in the air. All right. So after you filled all that out, you're going to come to add force. Okay. This is where it is. This is where the, the heart of all this is. Okay. It's going to list all the factions that are currently playable and have information on it. So we've got everything from, we have everything from Aldaria craft worlds all the way down to unaligned monsters and gribbles. Okay. Let's just say that we want to make Imperium. Let's go Imperium. Let's go Astra Militarum. Okay. Now this right here, this is if you're, uh, let me see how I'm going to choose to explain this to you guys. So this is the detachment section. Now for you guys who are new, I don't want you to worry too much about this. All right. For a newbie, really all you're going to be interested in is combat patrol. 
or I guess patrol detachments here. They really did change all that, huh? Okay. But, you know, if you're making a list um, for a more matched play setting, um, consult with your... your codex, uh, not your codex, but your core rulebook here. You're going to be using all of this stuff right here for your rules, um, your detachments. Let me give you a brief rundown as to what this is. Uh, the the detachments are basically how you build your armies in 40k. Okay, um, based on the uh, game mode that you're playing, like combat patrol, incursion, strike force, onslaught, that will have a limit to how many detachments you're able to bring in your list. Okay, now. Again, we're going to go ahead and assume that you're completely new. So what you're going to want to do is hit patrol detachments from minus 2 CP. Okay. Once that's in, by the way, these are all the contributors for uh, the people who help maintain this, this very important resource for the community. I recommend that you guys check out, um, at least visit their Discord, you know. Just check them out. To see if you if you have the the willingness to support and help them out go ahead and, and do that um, anyway we're gonna hit okay all right as you can see here we have three panels we have up here on the top bar there's some things going on and then we've got above that even more things going on we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll break it down okay so this top bar up here is, I think is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we've already kind of did the create or open, that's fine. Um, you can open a roster for viewing. You can save a roster. Uh, you can save a roster as something specific. You can preview a roster. You have options for sharing the roster. You can print the roster if you still have a printer. I don't know if that's still a thing uh, in most households. Um, you have all that stuff, and we've already kind of gone into that. Uh, manage the data, all right. So on this left hand, uh, this this will come down here. These are all just kind of viewing options for different things. You can expand and collapse things. Not as important. Um, just little control things. There's copy. There's favorite. I think there's some like support features baked into that. Anyway, come over to this side here. This is the very this is the first kind of important panel, okay? This is actually what's available in that faction. Okay? Now, if you you probably know by now, or if you don't know, every single model in the game is sorted into a category of selection, right? We have HQs, we have troops, we have elites, we have fast attack, we have heavy support. We have flyers, we have dedicated transports. All these different models are, they have one of these keywords, right? Um, and so now what you would do is you would build your roster factoring in the points, okay? So let's say, and you know, we're just gonna do this quickly. We'll, we'll do a Knight Commander Plesk. Um, we'll do a bunch of conscripts. Um, and you know, as we're doing this, we're kind of filling in our roster. Now keep in mind, even with combat patrol, you have very specific requirements to what your roster can bring. If you have a, an issue, it, it, it will let you know here with an exclamation point. All right, it's gonna let you know, hey, there's something wrong with your roster, all right? If you click on it, it will show you more or less what's wrong with your roster. So in this example, we have through we have too many troop selections all right you can only bring three troop types in a combat patrol okay so if you wanted to fix that you would just start removing these boys here all right so now now we don't have any validation errors now we're we're actually good okay now the middle section is where all your units are that's your current roster that's what you have okay you can actually uh just kind of sort through them you can collapse these menus to help you uh with uh sorting and, and looking at your your roster and then you have this third panel here on the right okay this will actually allow you uh to make customizations to your troop type so let's say i want i don't know 
I want 15 conscripts. Okay, I, I actually, I want I want more conscripts in here, right? I want 30 conscripts. Right, so now this this conscript squad here has 30 conscripts, while my other conscripts have only 20, right? Let's go look into something that's a little bit more advanced, right? Here's a Knight Commander Plesk, Pask, right? Now he's got a different, uh, a whole bunch of different choices of what he can bring. We've got uh, mount weapon mounts. We can kit him out with weapon mounts. We can kit him out with whole weapons. Uh, Sponson weapons. These are these. Are, this is basically your loadout um, for each individual unit, right? This is how you'll be able to make your special kind of custom. This is how you customize your 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 units. So that's just kind of a brief breakdown. Now it gets a bit more complicated um, when you're using your. Uh, d patrol detachments. I guess I could, you know, I can talk a little bit quickly on warlord traits. Like warlord traits. Um, really, you need to take a look at the core rulebook and really read that section on how to build your army and your roster. All right. Anyway, we so we have some validation errors right here. It's telling us. It's letting us know. That Knight Commander Plast must have one selection of Warlord trait, Cadia. Okay, so I would just come down here because I made him my Warlord. Tactical training, we're good again. Whoops. I need to have one more selection of battle size. Yeah, that that that's a very special uh, thing that happened there with uh, with this boy. Oh, you need to have the warlord. Basically, just following this will help you kind of find out what's going on. There's a battle size. Three CP. This battle size right here is kind of like a map selection, like a mode selection. You would kind of use that. Um, my recommendation for new players is to just kind of um, definitely, definitely take a look at uh, the detachments. Like really take a look at the rules um, and read the, the battlefield rules, the command points, the command point be uh, benefits. Here's the different types of detachments that you can do. Think of detachments as recipes, right? Each detachment brings something unique. Um, for example, a patrol detachment is a either one or two HQs and one one to uh, three troops, right? And then if you have a warlord, you would get this plus two command points, right? Um, or if you take a battalion, right, it comes with at least two HQs and at least three uh, troop site uh, selections uh, but you would get a different command benefit right this is this these are recipes that you have to build so now let's proceed to the next stage like let's say that we're good with this list and we want to use it ye old force orgs mm-hmm so we would go ahead and save the roster. Let's go ahead and save it as a test stream list here. All right, so now that roster is saved. All right, here's a really cool thing that you can actually do to help you understand what the things that you brought are. You hit this little eye icon here. This will actually give you a kind of worksheet for your list. Okay. It will have special rules for each of your units, individual. Um, it will give you profiles. It will give you weapon profiles. It has pretty much everything um, just kind of sorted out here for you. And then you can further kind of adjust this to minimize it. In any way that you know, maybe you don't want profiles maybe you just want maybe you just want the name of the lists 
Maybe you want a little bit of a profile summary, special rules, you don't want no rules. Like you have all these kind of tools here to help you kind of sort through this information. Here's root costs, no costs. Now you just, you know, you have uh, that ability. And there's been lots of times for me personally where I'll have Battle Scribe open on the side with just my units, it's just so I have a quick reference point for some of the special rules, right? So let's go into the next step, right? Let's let's say that you have a good list, you saved it. This is the list that you want to run, but you wanna you wanna go and take this a step further. But before I proceed to the next step, I just want to ask everybody in the chat, um, do you have any questions so far? Does everything make sense? Is there anything that you're confused on? <laughs> 